Hey guys, good morning, blessings. <clears throat> so today's day five of the clear liquid diet, but I didn't get a chance to talk about day four. So I'm going to do day four now and then I'll do another video with day five. Um, day four. So I have to say, since I'm in the beginning of day five, I have to say day four, um, it's kind of not really rough, but I was getting some hunger pains in the morning and then in the afternoon. Um, I noticed that I did do a lot more of the broth and I doubled my vitamin dose because I was really tired. Um, I have to say, out of the five days, if you're doing a five-day li clear liquid fast, day three is the worst, at least for me. Um, I think the first two days, since you're just starting, you've got your energy, you're good. And then, <laughs> sorry, my son just walked in. Um, the first two days, your body's kind of, you know, still has a lot of energy. And um, day three is like really rough. But then by day four and day five, you're kind of already used to day three's kind of problems, um, the hunger pains, um, you just have to, when you're experiencing those hunger pains and you feel like you have to eat, cause that's how I was on day three, just drink more broth. Um, I've been making a beef broth. I put a little bit of vinegar in there. I put a little bit of chili powder, paprika, cumin, um, garlic powder, um, just, um, Sazon, that's a Puerto Rican seasoning, comes in a little orange envelope. Um, I've been doing a lot of powder seasoning just because it's not particles, it's not the actual fruit or any, like the vegetables or anything, and it gives it a lot of good flavor. It doesn't, um, leave particles or anything, and, um, it's a lot more tolerable, um, just to change things up because the first two days I had the regular broth, um, chicken and vegetable and I was just kind of, uh, so I put a little bit of vinegar in a beef broth and with those seasonings and it was amazing. Um, I made popsicles yesterday. I was so tired. I'm so tired of the crystal light. I really am. I've done four different flavors. I've done the peach tea the fruit punch, the pink lemonade, and the cherry lemonade. And I don't know, it's sugar-free, but I know it has to have some kind of artificial sweetener in it. Artificial, blah, 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 blah. artificial sweetener. So anyways, um, long story short, um, I survived day four. Uh, still more hunger pains. You're going to get them like the last... Three days, I want to say. Um, I'm experiencing them now, but I haven't eaten anything. I just drink a bottle of water. And it is, I don't know, I can't see what time it is. It's about 8, 8.30, um, if that. So, it's not rough. I mean, I can't believe I made it to day five. I really didn't think I would. By the way, okay, weight gain. Before I started the fast, I had gained three pounds. I had went from 163 to 165. Day two, if you recall, of my liquid fast, I hadn't lost any weight yet. I don't know if it was day two or day one. I hadn't lost any weight yet. Day four of my liquid fast, and I weighed in out 260. So I lost five pounds within these four days. I mean, day one and two, I'm not sure if I lost anything, but I mean, it just accumulated over the last maybe day or two, maybe three, um, five pound weight loss. So yeah, stick to your liquid diet. Um, if you're doing it for the surgery, um, for those of you that might have came across my video for liquid diet, and you're not doing the VSG, I would really recommend that you see a doctor and see if it's okay. 
and make sure that you stay monitored by a doctor if you want to lose like weight quickly, maybe for a wedding or something like that. I don't know. Um, make sure you have your physician monitoring you at all times. Uh, it was, I had a mild headache yesterday. Um, I had more energy than I did on day three. And it was before I had taken my vitamins. So, yeah, I think things, your body starts getting used to it. Um, at least mine did. Everybody's different. Um, don't quote me on it, but I get my time for surgery. Tonight they call me with the time and I go in for surgery tomorrow. So, wait, tomorrow? Is today Wednesday? Yeah, tomorrow. Woo! Yes, I have my surgery done tomorrow. So you guys, please keep me in your prayers. And I'm going to do a day five video just at the end of the day and let you know how I'm feeling. I'm already feeling hunger pains. I need to go get a protein shake and I need to double the protein powder on it because, yeah. No milk, you guys. I do water and a lot of ice. It makes it really thick. So it feels like you have some kind of substance. It's not going right through you. BT dubs, everything I've been drinking, like I've been going to the bathroom right after I drink it. Like, I thought that your body needs more time to actually, like, digest liquids. I guess since I haven't eaten for some, like, literally, right after right after I drink something I'm gone like my bladder's like filling up like crazy um yeah just make sure you're by a bathroom at all times when you're on the last three days of this liquid diet I'm telling you um you guys stay positive um stay hopeful if you're going through this or you're gonna go through this I mean, I was so tempted to eat something yesterday and all I kept thinking was no. I want to be a hottie more than I want to feed this body. Yes. So, um, wow, I think my face looks thinner. Um, just make sure you do what you have to do. Keep on track. Just remember how much more worth it it is to stick to the liquid diet and not eat. Like, you don't want to push your surgery back another couple of days. You can do this. I guarantee you, you can. I lost five pounds in four days. You know, even if it didn't come off the scale the first day or two, it's even better. I lost, like, five pounds in two or three days. Maybe three or four. Whatever. Um... Just stay focused, stay positive, stay hopeful. We're here for you guys. We're all here for each other. Instagram, VSG Instacrew, hashtag VSG Instacrew, hashtag VSG, hashtag sleevers, has, hashtag gastric sleeve, um, hashtag weight loss surgery. Just keep you guys posted there's a lot of people there if you need a uh, community to talk to um, if you have any questions or comments you can as far as what I know I can help you inform you or refer you to somebody that knows um, take care ladies and gentlemen uh, be blessed always